Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you today with breaking news. Yeah, breaking. Just like that. Thunder and lightning. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about something else that may be more explosive than that. Uh, we have an escalating situation with a nation of I-R-A-N. Uh, we've had a drone. We have shot down a drone. The USS Boxer shot down a drone that President Trump said today was uh, posing danger to our fleet in uh, the Persian Gulf. So we have a situation there where uh, uh, things are, 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 there's just a lot of tension and escalation there. Uh, there has been, uh, the British captured one of their vessels, an uh, uh, oil tanker, and we've also blamed them for strikes damaging uh, a couple of other commercial vessels. Uh, of course, uh, they shot one of our drones down. And uh, here's the thing that's scary. We were just a couple of weeks ago, 10 minutes away from a, uh, a full scale attack on some of their, well, an attack, direct attack on the country of IRAN. <clears throat> Uh, we were going to attack some of their military assets in retaliation to that drone attack, and President Trump called it back. Well, the military was happily going along with it, and they just decided, uh, Trump decided, you know, a, a drone wasn't worth the lives of the people that would be struck. But it's more than that. We're not just talking about uh, an action limited there. We're talking about escalation. This could escalate into a uh, very bad situation. A Yes, thank you Mother Nature, into that, big time, lots of that. And it could be here, as that is here, because the Revolutionary uh, Guard of, uh, of the country in question is said to have sleeper cells right here, and it is said that they're poised and prepared to take out our power grid. Now I have seen articles where there are transformers that have mysteriously caught fire uh, in the United States and areas near oil refineries and things like that and uh, the authorities say, well, we don't know what happened. Well, fire investigators are pretty good at figuring out what causes fires. So when, anytime you hear, we don't know what happened, you really have to wonder what happened in New York on the 42nd anniversary of the big New York power outage. Why did that happen? What was that? Uh, you, you just have to think that maybe, you know, there are a lot of little strange outages popping up here and there. Are these test cases? Are these like little proxy events? Are these warning shots? Are these practice runs? Are we, do we have people running drills? Are there cyber attacks? Or is people, are people getting tuned up and ready for something crazy, something big? Are they just practicing? Uh, or is it all just coincidental that suddenly we have a lot of outages and a lot of strange things happening there? Or is it just totally coincidence? Maybe, possibly. But the thing is, we are in a situation that could go south bad really fast, and you just don't know when. So uh, keep your head on a swivel. Be prepared, not scared. Uh, this is a great time to get some prepper supplies before food prices really kick up, especially. Check links below. Watch my videos. Just in, you, know, you might want to know what to do before this stuff comes in to you. Watch my videos on how to eat wild edibles. My videos on what's up here in the trees that you can eat. And I'll be doing more of those uh, if uh, time and internet and all this stuff still permits. Uh, we, could, we could lose our power grid, literally. Uh, you know, a, a conflict with a nation such as our <clears throat> AN is not going to be like a walk in a park. It's not going to be like happen, what happened with the uh, Gulf Wars one or two. Uh, they're much larger, they're far more developed, and they're very, very smart people. We have a superiority complex in America. We think we are the smartest people in the world. I'm here to tell you that, well, we have smart people, but so do they. They have some incredibly intelligent people. They were so smart that, in fact, they hacked one of our drones in flight and landed it in their country, one of our stealth drones. They landed that sucker after they hacked it. They took it over. They commandeered it. And they were able to see what kind of stealth technology we had on that drone. That's pretty smart. One of my smartest professors in college, who was the dean of the electrical engineering department at UAH at one time, is from there. 
Smart man, very smart. Nice man, I might add. My study buddy in college is from there. And incredibly smart young man. So do not for a minute think that these people aren't smart. They're very smart. And, uh, uh, you know, everybody can point fingers and talk about where blame starts and such and so forth. Uh, we're not entirely innocent in this, my friends. But then nobody is, probably. This is a situation that, that shouldn't exist. Given time, the people in, in said country will love nothing better than to have peace and to get along with us. It's the governments and organizations that are always trying to stir the pot and cause trouble. All that said, the key thing for you to know is you need to get prepared for you and your family, your friends, your neighbors. Uh, watch my videos on those topics. because I don't know how much time you have, but please consider buying supplies to get yourself ready. Links below for that. Uh, you, without a grid, you need to grow your own garden. Uh, you'll need to be able to not have to go buy fertilizers because there may be you know, stores to do that. Worms are a great way to recycle your stuff. I sell worms. Links below. And uh, buy heirloom seeds while you can. True Leaf Market. And you can still plant a few things this season. Save seeds for next season. And consider uh, growing microgreens. Uh, and you can grow them in the windows. You don't have to have power lights like I do. And they only have to be lit for about three days anyway. So uh, that's just optimization technique, and it's not required. So consider microgreens. Uh, you can also grow them in soil. I'll have to shoot a few videos on that in the not too distant future. You can grow them in paper towels, cloth, different things. I chose that bio straight felt. It was easy to use and readily available. Now uh, there's another felt at uh, True Leaf Market. So please do uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Click the like. And click the update notification bell to get updates for f future videos because I'm going to keep covering these topics to keep you aware of what's going down so that you're not surprised and that you're not scared but prepared. So I say stay alive, thrive, and out of the hive. Thank you for watching.